Canada before to play? Yeah, for North by Northeast. What is that North by Northeast? Um, it's is that some like indie music? Well, it's like, it's like, it's a, yeah, it's a festival, it's like all genres of music, not just in indie, but it is up and coming bands, but they also have like, you know, Flaming Lips played, so they're pretty popular, and, um, like crazy hippie kids? Um, getting high everywhere. no, it takes over, it's a, the, the government supports it. of the reason to be like in a band that like makes music and is like active and stuff because you want the chance to just travel around and like sort of live this idealistic romantic lifestyle of being like a vagabond musician it just sounds like really cool it started with with a lot of high hope and a lot of uh normalcy and then you know, about halfway through the tour, the tour is already weird enough. It was weird to switch gears and have to think about what your next, what you're going to do at the next show because what you did ten nights in a row before that didn't matter anymore because it, you guys were going to have to regroup and uh, figure out a new way. Like, we all know where each other's boundaries are, and, like, and I feel like we all have, like, pretty big boundaries, but we all know where our own personal boundaries are, which make it easier to get along with people. Um, so I can't really, like, pinpoint something that was so bad that I was like, ugh, this is horrible. Out 
it's just you just never know what it's going to feel like and like of course over our five tours we've gone on, you know with uh, our we, just our band and another or another band or even friends that came along there's always it's always interesting to see how people are going to like interact with each other and take it and try to compensate with like living like a, a gypsy so we thought that's just what was happening he he was just taking it a little harder than everybody else but then things just got weirder and weirder and more insane and more threatening that um, until they just came to a head in New York where everything just like, exploded and we realized that this wasn't just like one of those things where someone was having a hard time living on the road. This was someone having a hard time with like their life in general and they didn't We tried to repair it, and he let us down. That's just the end of it, you know, after his first freak out, you know. We tried to help him, we were super nice, accommodating, and, uh, you know, I just want to know that the people in the van, I can trust their next action, I can trust his next action, I don't know what it's going to be. That's how it comes down to it. Alright, so what are we looking at? 27, 26, We're going to Megan's, right? Yeah. Okay, alright. Yes. <laughs> How are you, Lou? Yes. Ma'am, can you take off your...